Oh, so I'm coming to you from my car. Um, I actually don't look as awful as I thought I did. My hair is not really hairing, but I mean, it kind of is. It keeps flicking. I'm not happy actually. Anyway, I'm coming to you from my car this morning. I've just dropped Gabe. Welcome to this week's vlog. It's Monday today, and I'm actually uploading last week's vlog tonight. I meant to do it yesterday, which is always the case with me. Always have the best of intentions and I never quite fulfill them so anyway it's actually my birthday today um the less said about that the better but I'm meeting um my friend for birthday breakfast because it was also her birthday in September um she's also you know less said about it the better but and I've moved into my salon as of yesterday so we have a lot to celebrate and also we haven't seen each other like properly for ages um so we are going to Megan's and then I'm spending probably most of my birthday at the new salon because I've just got so much to do I moved yesterday and it's chaos there's I don't even have that much it's just the amount of product I have which needs to be put away which doesn't currently have anywhere to be put away to so there's just boxes everywhere I ordered some kitchen cabinets from Ikea um, they are not being put up until Friday because I couldn't well it actually worked out well I couldn't get a handyman until Friday but also Hainsley is actually working Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so Logistically, I could have only done it on... I've, I've basically got today and Friday because that's when Haynes is around, have Elliot. I want to get those built before Friday so that they're ready. Things I've still got things to do at the old studio because yesterday I just got like the big things moved, but there's still some products and like shelves that I need to take down and stuff um, over at the other studio. And I wanted to like properly clean... I've got a trolley with product on. I wanted to properly clean it before bringing it over to the new space, all that kind of stuff. So... I'm going to see how much of that I can get done today, but the priority is um, getting the kitchen cabinets built. And I'm not meeting my friend for like another 50 minutes or so, but I might just head into Megan to get a table, grab a coffee, because I need it. I also don't feel that well. I, I feel like I've not been well, and I've probably said this in the last few vlog vlogs for like months. And I, again, I still feel like I just keep getting this very tickly cough. Elliot's really snotty and like he's very chesty. Gabe's been snotty. He's actually fine by large, but he's been quite snotty for a long, long time. Hi. Because you know I always get it wrong. So what did he say after he chewed through it? That was it. He kind of, so all these people <laughs> were like, he like shouted it across the like, and I was like, but <laughs> I can experience You're it. You're oh, I should. That's exactly. I've kind of started to move stuff in and get it situated. It used to be at the basin in my old place. Now it's just going to be like a wait. This will be like a waiting area type situation. So there's that there, and then there's that chest is going to stay there as well. And then I might get some kind of ceramic vase or something on there. I was also thinking about maybe getting like a little lamp, like a cute like mushroom lamp or something. This is my mirror, again, because I'm thinking I might move it over slightly because I don't know if the chair, by the time it's here, it's going to be too close to the basin. But this is kind of where I see this chair going. And then it's TBC on whether I get another section, so another mirror and chair to go kind of here, or against that back wall and coming out. This is what needs to be built today. The cabinets, and then there's another box over here. And then this is all just boxes of my product in there that needs to then go into the kitchen cabinets um i know that also the, i ordered a blind to go along this window that's being delivered to my house today which is great because i'm then hoping that the handyman that's coming on friday to put the kitchen cabinets up could also put up the blind and then i have also got if you were doing any kind of bathroom renovation you might quite like um this website and also these things um because there's three things i've bought to go in the bathroom from this interior site called abby um that i think just showed up on instagram probably i'm very easily influenced on instagram but i just really like everything this was the first thing that i ordered and it's a hand wash holder obviously i've ordered a sop hand wash to go in it um and it's just like a matte black really nice and simple but i thought that was lovely you can get double ones as well to put lotion in i also then needed a toilet roll holder and a towel uh holder this will be the towel so i'm going to get a towel that's got a loop on it and that will just be where it goes because the bathroom's very small so i didn't want anything huge 
because I'm also, there's just a lot to get on the wall and I don't want it to look too cluttered. Right. This is the toilet roll holder. I quite like how kind of, what would you call that? Not graphic. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I think these all go together really nicely. I've got this round mirror, which will go in the toilet, which is here. Right, so this mirror, I wish it wasn't this color, but I don't have time to paint it. I can match black to match, I think it's fine. So this mirror is gonna go like here. The toilet roll holder will go like there. Can you even see like next to the loo? This is gonna go quite near the sink. And then this will go like here, I think. Um, I'm gonna put the toilet roll holder there basically. And then the towel rail holder like here. This obviously I want the handyman to take off, it's drilled in. And obviously take this off as well. And then I would like to replace these tiles at some point but I don't know how easy a job that is. I don't really have the money to do it yet because I've just ploughed all my money into what's happening so far. So that's not something that's essential. Those are the small details thus far. Honestly, being in here, thinking that this is gonna be done soon and then this is where I will come and have a client. I can't wait. There we go, kitchen cabinets are built, ready to go up there. That's all I needed to do here this morning. I could do with going over to my other space and cleaning a trolley. Hi, good morning. It is Thursday and I, can't, I meant to vlog a bit yesterday and then the, the day just kind of ran away with me. I've just dropped Gabe's nursery and Hainsey's at home today. He's with Elliot. Hainsey's is working later, but this evening he's got a shoot, like an overnight shoot. I am just in town. I've just parked up because I've got a few errandy bits to do, but the shops aren't open yet. So I'm going to go and have a coffee and a croissant and have a little moment to myself. Primarily, I need to um, get something printed off for Gabriel to give to his nursery. And then I also need to print off for my shop a business rates exemption form. Very boring, all very grown up, um, but I have to do that. Um, I also need to pick up Gabe's puffer jacket coat zip broke. So we took that to dry cleaners, that's fixed. I need to pick that up. And then I also want to just maybe get some more socks for Gabe <laughs> and possibly some more tracksuit bottoms. So I need to go to M&S and maybe John Lewis. Um, I then need to go home because we've ordered a new bed for Gabriel. He's caught into the toddler bed. He hasn't been, he's been in his cot forever because he was never bothered. He, he wasn't trying to climb out of it. He wasn't really showing any signs that it bothered him being in there that much. And to be honest, with having a new baby, who's not new anymore, but with having another baby, at the time it was a bit like can I be bothered to deal with the possibility that he might get in and out of bed I just didn't know what to expect with Gabe and a new bed because I can't say to him you're having a new bed this is what you do and know that he'll understand so it I just wasn't sure if he would get in and out however I don't know if anyone remembers we went to my mum's house he slept in a bed for the first time and was an angel so there was no reason to think that there might be a worry but there was other things like I worried that he might get up in the middle of the night and fall down the stairs there's no reason to think that because he's very good going up and down the stairs but you know it's all that kind of stuff that you just preempt um, anyway, last week or oh, two weeks ago, I suddenly was like, do you know what, it's time. I'm gonna change this bed into a toddler bed. We did that, everything was fine. The only issue was he kept falling out. I say kept, it was only two days because we now have the bed guard on his bed. To me, it's like not a proper bed and I feel like we're gonna have the bed guard on there for quite a while. So we wanted to just order him a bed that's got kind of railing around it so that he doesn't fall out. And then it's a proper bed, he can get nice and cozy and that's what we're doing. So uh, that arrived yesterday. Um, we literally ordered it the day before and it came the next day and it was free delivery, it was amazing. It's such a nice bed. So I need to go home and then we've got to sort that out and then kind of sort Gabe's room out because um, now that we're doing that, I'm gonna, we haven't made Gabe's bedroom into anything particularly special. Um, but now I kind of feel like maybe I want to make it into a proper bedroom and like get some pictures up and my mum made bunting ages ago which I haven't put up and all that kind of stuff. So. 
I just went to M&S and I've spoken about boy shopping, boy clothes shopping before. And I was in M&S and in the section that was two to seven years and it was all girl stuff. There was no boys things at all. I managed to find one pair of blue tracksuit bottoms and really that's all I wanted was some tracksuit bottoms but there was literally one pair in his size and everything else was just definitely girls. And I've spoken about this before, I don't get why boys shop, well I do get it, it's to push girls into being consumers but either way as a parent of a boy I need options <laughs> and I just feel like you go in and there's like six walls of girl stuff and like one wall of boys and it's either fucking dinosaurs or tractors like I, it just infuriates me okay now I need to go to dry cleaners got my dry cleaning um I'm in John Lewis because I thought I'd just come and look at um their sock and tracksuit bottom offering and also have just seen up to 30% off on pyjamas. So Gabe has recently grown from age three to age four pyjamas, or actually age six. And my mum bought some for him that she sent to us. And I've just seen these and I think I might just get another pair because he definitely is growing out of all of his age three. So we will need more age four, of which have they were sold out of age four. Is that a popular age? Oh, I mean, do you see what I mean? Dinosaurs or space. Like that is, that is what being a boy mum is. I mean, it's fine, but do you know what I mean? It's not my first choice. What the hell is that? Just, um, again, a boring mum thing, but John Lewis do double packs of pyjamas and I feel like they wash really well and they last us ages. Like he's definitely had, I, I don't even know when we got his last ones, but they last forever, so there you go. After saying that, obviously the only pair of double pyjamas that they've got in an age four are these ones, but they're actually not too bad. Like, they'll do, they're only pyjamas, do you know what I mean? And Gabe looks gorgeous and everything. Christmas has arrived in John Lewis. My favorite, favorite thing ever. I feel like, because last Christmas wasn't really Christmas because I was pregnant and due to have Elliot any minute, so I didn't put a Christmas tree up because I knew I was going to possibly have a newborn at some point, either over Christmas or just after. And would I want the ag of taking all the decorations down? So it just didn't feel very festive. We didn't make any plans because we didn't know if I'd be in hospital or like what was going to happen. He was due the 29th of December, but because Gabriel came three weeks early, I was kind of anticipating he would come early and he did. He came on the 23rd. Um, so right before Christmas, so it was good that we didn't have plans, but it, I feel like last Christmas was very Christmassy, so I feel like we're really going to go for it this Christmas. Well, I mean, I am. Oh my god, look. KitchenAid Christmas decoration. Oh, what does that say on it? Grandma's famous cookies. <laughs> I actually don't like gaudy decorations like that. I always admire people that can have all of this kind of shit on their tree. A bit more minimal, do you know what I mean? I mean, I say, I mean, like, this is more my vibe. Do you know what I mean? I didn't actually vlog any more of yesterday after going into town um, because it was just a bit chaotic as soon as I got back. We had so much stuff to sort out, but this is Gabe's bed, and I'm so so happy with it. I honestly, oh, hello, <laughs> such a good decision to get a new bed for him. How cute is that? I feel, oh, do you know what? I didn't even show you the bed before, did I? I might have a picture of it I could insert, but this is by far a much better situation. So if you have a toddler that falls out of bed, this is great because he can get in and out of it, which he loves to do. And then, yeah, last night he seemed to sleep amazingly in it. Uh, I feel like we can actually kind of start to make this a bit more of like a bedroom, but yeah. Oh, someone's looking at my door. Here we are in my very, very bright salon. Alexa, turn off. A very very bright salon so i'm really pleased that i've got a blind i ordered i mean i don't know if you guys would have would have, would know but there was no blind at this window it's lovely big open window but the sun does stream in so i definitely needed a blind i did a bit of guesswork um and i measured it but i wasn't 100 percent sure if i measured it correctly i picked a color just off of a website without getting samples so it was a bit of a risk but it's a risk that paid off because this blind is perfect. Um, perfect across the top. 
Yeah, and it's so bright, I don't know if you can really see, but it's kind of just like this natural, a natural matte. I mean, what can you say about roller blind? It's not really, it's nothing really exciting, but I was just really pleased because it's not too beige, it's not too cream, it's not too white. It was, I think it was called natural linen or something. So, I mean, how wrong can you go with that? That is for days like today when it's really hot, but also when I'm not here, it will just be pulled down so no one can see in, which I'm really pleased about. So anyway, we've got cabinets to spare, and that's where my colour's gonna be. I've started trying to sort that out, but it's a bit much, but I am coming back here later. So anyway, there we go, that's the start. And then underneath here, and I didn't think to measure the in-between bit where the fridge would go. I was just like, oh, it's not gonna fit. But my handyman was like, that will fit. And so he just shifted it in there for me, so. The fridge is now on and working, so I need to go and stock that with refreshments. Um, and then, yeah, there's another cupboard here, which has just got tea in it at the moment, but that will, um, I'll put glasses and mugs and things like that. And then in the toilet, we have a mirror, and then all my little, so, toilet roll holder. Did I just show you these already? That's the toilet roll holder. And then hand soap holder and towel holder so i need to go and get a towel and then there's the mirror hi two o'clock now i need to pick gabe up from nursery at 3 30 so i think i'm gonna pop into town now get a kettle a hand towel and something to eat and then i'm cutting my friend's hair here this evening at seven o'clock so i've said to hainsley i will pick gabe up come back home be home for a bit and then I'm gonna come out again because I need to go to the old salon, um, start a bit of cleaning there, but also bring some more product over and then come back here and start like properly, hopefully get everything kind of sorted. But it's one of those things where it's like in your head, it's a tiny job and then you're here and you're like, oh my God, this is, oh. Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, right, I mean, couldn't tell you the last time I vlogged, but want to vlog today because I'm just getting ready. It's half seven in the morning and I'm up and out this morning because I'm going to an event. Oh, I'm going to an event. I'm so excited. I never go to events anymore. I haven't been to an event. No, that's a lie. But no, I haven't been to like a breakfast, a dinner, a launch, anything for God knows how long. Um, tell me you have a sensory seeking toddler without telling me you have a sensory seeking toddler. <laughs> he loves to chew things. Anyway, just putting some balm on so I can put some lipstick on. Right, so. Where is my lipstick? I'm going to wear, this is a very old lipstick from Anastasia called Honey. And it's a matte lipstick and it's such a nice nude. Before I do that, let me just finish my story. Um, I'm getting ready to go to an event and I'm so excited. It's a breakfast with one of my favorite, favorite brands, Beyond Nine. I'm sure you've all heard me talk about them multiple times, or if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me feature them multiple times. Um, they are just such a wonderful brand, both the clothes that they make and the sh themselves in general. Naomi is the founder who I know from social media but I've never met her in real life. So it'd be so nice to see her and properly meet her for the first time because we've talked here and there throughout like the last few years. Um, and also just the other girls that I talk to from the brand who I, we only ever email. it would be so nice to meet them finally in person and also other girls that I know do similar things for them like I do, so just create content and have done for the last few years. There's a couple of women who I absolutely love that I really hope are there. And yeah, it's at a place called, I think it's pronounced Maine in Shoreditch. It looks so nice. Um, and I just can't wait, so let me just put my lippy on. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I need to sort my hair out quickly, actually. Very, very quickly. It actually needs a wash, so I'm not doing anything that exciting. Um, bar dousing it in this Bumble and Bumble Pretta Powder, which is like a dry shampoo volume hybrid. I absolutely love it. I haven't actually used this for ages. I forgot I had it, but it's actually perfect for what my hair's doing now, which is not a lot. I don't know if you can tell from the outfit. I've been watching a lot of Victoria Beckham recently, so. So I feel like maybe I wanna, God, you can really see my bra, sorry. I feel like maybe I want to get a lot of volume, but then kind of pin it back to ignore how messy everything is. Thank you, thank you so much. Right, I meant to talk about this. A while ago, I bought myself a little treat. I just don't need any, I don't need it to use to treat myself these days. And it's a new perfume. I've still got it in the packaging because 
it's so bougie and I love it, but it's this one from Bayredo called Del Santos. Um, I basically ran out of perfume ages ago, and from being pregnant and it being locked down, I just didn't repurchase any. So I did buy Molecule um, whenever it was, quite a while ago now, because I was like, I need something, and I still have Glossier U, so that's fine, I have a couple. But I wanted, I ran out of Le Labo Santal, wanted to replace it. I feel like Santal's gone a bit basic, everyone's got it. This is very, very similar, however, I feel like it's not as bitter, and it's slightly more feminine. Um, it's a perfect mix, I feel like, of Le Labo, Santal and Noir, if you've smelt those ones. Um, but it's just a little bit softer. A lovely fragrance for an occasion such as this. I'm going to take this bag, which is just a very small monocle pouch that I got ages ago. It's just quite easy to go with this. Then I got sent some trousers from Beyond 9 to wear, which was really lovely and really generous of them. So let me try and show you this full length mirror. But they're like a cute pro fabric and they've got they're like a cargo army trouser but they're elasticated at the waist and they've got a pocket and they're not they're elasticated at the bottom but not like a jogger they're still quite loose but I wanted these for ages because I feel like they're great for something like this like casual you can dress up but also they'd be fabulous with heels and you could really really dress them up I had a pair of trousers like this from COS ages ago but I don't have any more I don't know what happened to them but they were always like a go-to for like evening events because they're comfy but you can really dress them up. I'm not dressing them up that much today because I'm going to wear them with my Novesta trainers um, so that it's like smart cash. Okay, I must dash. I've ended up just bringing a brolly last minute as I just ran out of the house because it looks a bit cloudy and I don't think it's going to rain, but you just never know. I don't want to get caught in the rain, you know? I have not been to Liverpool Street, Spitalfields, Spittle, this part of London, honestly, for probably years. But it's just so weird coming here and thinking I just used to live like a two minute bus ride up the road from Liverpool Street but there's a massive, oh my god there's space in case. there's a massive NARS and a massive space in K. I'm already exhausted because I forgot how much the commute takes it out of you when you live outside of London is my boob popping out? great um, I think I know where I'm going this feels great, I feel like this is so weird like even just this morning, even though it's kind of a rush like sitting and doing my makeup, getting ready to go out to get on the train, then coming to London. Just felt like quite nice. <laughs> I remember ages ago going to an event where those bars are. Is well, it used to be public toilets. I remember going to an event down there. How is London? <laughs> Edit's down for a nap. Hainsley is upstairs teaching over Zoom. Yeah, such a lovely morning. It was at this restaurant called Maine, um, and I had what's called salmon pastrami, but it's just salmon on a bagel, and it was just divine. Um, I don't know how much footage I got there, because I was trying to take some for Instagram stories, and also trying to get my outfit for a reel. So I know I got some footage, I just don't know how much. But anyway, um, I met some lovely women who I've seen like on the Beyond 9 Instagram and also who I just follow. And yeah, it was just so nice and now I'm back. It was so hot. It's gone a bit cooler now, but London is so hot. The tube, oh my God, it was disgusting. And I just remember how gross you feel when you go into London. Um, also, I wore the Glossier Stretch Foundation, which I really like. However, I feel like this might be a bit too light for me. Um, even though I went to the shop to match myself, um, I don't know, maybe it's not, but I just feel like something about it isn't sitting quite right on my skin. Um, anyway, this battery's flashing. Um, I'm going to sort out the kitchen and then I'm picking up Gabe from nursery and Hainsley is going for a school visit. We've organised a school visit this afternoon. Which, oh, who's that knocking at my door? Hold on. Right, sorry, it was Mr. Amazon that was just at my door. And I'm going to tell you about what this is actually. I don't know if anyone will be interested in this, but I keep going on about... Gabe and his milk and I think I've said it on here he was on oat milk because he kept getting a rash to whole milk like a, two years ago I then wasn't happy with how much oat milk he was drinking because it's got oil in it we thought we got him back onto whole milk no problem but he started itching again a couple of days ago it's not too bad but he's definitely itching again he hasn't been itchy for months and months and months and we we're like for fuck's sake 
Anyway, anyway, someone I think on here recommended this brand of oat milk, which is just three ingredients, oats, water, and sea salt. And when I first looked into it, I thought that's gonna taste disgusting. Um, so I didn't even try it. And with this itching, I thought, let's give it a go. Bought some yesterday, tried it myself. It's delicious, tastes no different from the other oat milk that we have, which is Minor Figures Barista One. Um, I actually feel like this tastes a bit sweeter. Anyway, I thought, I think Gabe will like it. We gave it to him yesterday, drank it, no problem. So I've set up our Amazon subscribe and save <laughs> so that we get this delivered in bulk now. So now Gabriel is back on oat milk, but it's the one that is just oat milk and water. And I feel so much better about it. I even think that might be better than giving him dairy. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you know if um, just for you, your child or anything, and you want a, a good milk substitute that's not full of shit, because so many milk substitutes are just processed and full of shit. Um, this one really is. And I think this whole range, they do almond, cashew and coconut as well. Um, and I feel like they are the best ones to go for if you drink a lot of milk or your toddler drinks a lot of milk um, and you want something that's as kind of clean and pure as possible and doesn't have shit in it. Um, anyway, this battery's flashing, so I need to charge it. 